up YouTube it's been a long time since I've done a video I'm trying to get my camera set up so please bear with me now what we're going to do today on the channel everybody is talking about cyberpunk yes cyberpunk 2077 is finally here and yeah pretty much everybody who's worth their salts doing a cyberpunk video so what I am going to do today is I'm going to do what other people are not doing. I've seen people doing nomads. I've seen people doing uh, corpos. But I haven't seen anyone doing street kids. So I'm going to start a completely different um, campaign on the game. Just to do street kids for all of y'all. And I hope the video comes out well. It took me a minute to adjust. Uh, I'll do the first video tonight, and hopefully you guys will like and subscribe, and I can actually get some more followers. Uh, and that's as good as it's going to get. Alright, so enjoy Cyberpunk! Cyberpunk 2077, bitches! Oops. I might get kicked off YouTube. Oh no! This video game is sponsored by Maniac. If you like Deadpool, I'm nothing like that jackass. I'm my own redneck self. Cyberpunk, baby! Woo-hoo! Everybody give me a woo woo Normally I skip this part, but since it's a video, hey, I'll let y'all guys watch it. Now, if you're watching this video and you haven't paid attention to the lore or the history of cyberpunk then I'll point it out as we get there and viewer discretion is advised there will be nudity there will be bad language there will be drug use and there will be lots and lots of murder if you're watching this and complaining about the titties that's just your damn problem Now, let's get kicked off. Now, uh, I've already got a Nomad done on this game. So we're going to start with new game. I always like to play in story mode, especially when I'm doing videos. Makes it easier. Don't have to do so many redos. And since I'm doing street kids, here we go. They say if you want to understand the streets, you've got to live. Yeah, live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the lower, the low of the jungle, dictates the weak serve the strong the only low in night city you have yet to break all right street kid i'm gonna do a male this time because my last character was female but um just to show you the brief nudity i will go to a female real quick Let's scroll down to the important part of this game. Now, this goes to show how much Cyberpunk really wanted to make everybody politically correct. That's the default boobs. That is the huge titties. And that is the Asian titties. Oh, damn. I said it. And you can even change the nipples, but here's the fun part. Gender. You know, it goes specific for everybody. 
If you want to be non-gender specific, there is no gender. If you want to have a vagina on a female character, congratulations, you're a female. If you want to be a chick with a dick, there you go. Different dick sizes, but not different vagina sizes. Go figure. Alright, let's back that shit up. Male. I kind of like the look that we got going here, but I want to go with this more emo guy. There you go. Yeah. That looks like somebody who's got punched in the face one too many times. Masculine voice. Let's get a skin color right. We only do white. Obviously. Uh, skin tone hair. Now, there's a lot of different hairstyles on here. I'll just... Since I'm doing a video for Cyberpunk, I guess I'll go through all of them. But let's start at the beginning. I'm going to just quick skip back to number one. Number two. Number three. Four. You can see the numbers. That's not a bad look. Looks like a stoner. Ooh. Now that's a punk rocker boy look if there ever was one. A lot of these hairstyles look similar, so you just have to rotate around to see the difference. That one is just like, what the fuck were you thinking? That looks like the chick's hair. Oh, look. We finally found Vanilla Ice. Ice, Ice, baby. Where's he been these last few years? Oh, and that's what he looked like right before he retired. And there's your redneck mullet. I remember sporting one of those. So, this video is probably going to be pretty long. Uh, since it's been a while since I've done a video, and plus I'm just going through the details with you. It's like, what's the point of that hair? It covers up everything. Oh, look, it's the grease look. Uh, okay. So many different hairstyles. So it's like something for everyone here. Now, for those of you who are sitting here thinking about fast forwarding you know, the video because I'm just sitting here looking at hairstyles. Um, the whole freaking ridiculous point about this is the game is in first person view the entire time. So no matter what your character looks like, you never actually see yourself. So, what's the point, actually? You know, it doesn't matter what you look like, because you're never going to actually look at yourself. Unless you just like staring in the mirror. Which, they do have that, and you will see it. Okay, so I've gone through all the hairstyles. I, I think I've pretty much figured out the one I want. I'm going to go with the 1990s Vanilla Ice look. Just because it's something I wouldn't do <laughs> so let me find it real quick and yes I don't pause videos this is completely unedited you know filth I hope you like and subscribe I won't say that too many times but I, I will say it a lot <laughs> oh I think I missed it damn talking to you guys I forgot what I was doing Is that the vanilla ice? Yeah, it comes over the eye too much. Where's the other? Yeah, we'll go with that one. That one looks like something I would do. 
Alright, hair color. Let's make him a blonde. I normally go with the exotic anime colors like that. Okay, I'm stuck. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, eyes. Now, it's just really weird what you can do with your eyes. But this is cyberpunk. So look at all the designs there. I'm going to go with the skull and crossbones. Uh, oh yeah. I'm a badass. I might go with the white ones this time. Yeah, so I got the white skull and crossbones. Eh. And then you got your snake eyes, which I like the snake eyes. Mm. Yep, we have winner, people. Eye color. Wait. Uh, oh, huh. Oh, the had a brain fart there, people. Sorry. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Alright, cyberware. This is another one of those. I'm actually going to take the time to go through it. Uh, it's not that many. So, you can go without cyberware. Uh, number one. Number two. You can see the numbers. I really like that one. Yeah, that's if you want to go completely teched out. That's a pretty good one if you broke your nose. Alright, so I feel like I want to go with number one. Because it just really looks awesome. Now you can do tattoos and stuff like that. I am going to go with my favorite tattoo, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, going through them all. Um, which I think mine was number one to begin with, so. There we go, the dragon tattoo. Uh, piercings. Let me look at the piercings real quick. I usually go with number 11 because that's kind of like the female start off. Yeah. And let's make it gold. Bling bling bitches. Now there's really no you know, point in doing the teeth or anything like that. Because like I said, you don't really see anything. Uh, but even if it's a guy or a girl, I always go with the same nails. Hot rod nails. You can do your nails in all different designs. And actually you see your nails more than you do anything else. Mainly because you're holding a gun. Uh, let's turn the nipples off because, you know, why do guys have nipples, really? <laughs> uh, genitalia. I'm a male this time, so I'm going to have, like, the big package. Oh, that's disturbing. Okay. Big package. There we go. Impressive cock. Uh, Alright, and now... I get to choose penis size, which, there you go, donkey honk. Hee honk, hee honk. That's what a small dick looks like for all you ladies out there who's comparing. That's what you should be getting. <laughs> oh, hey, there's his ass. Oh, take a look at that ass. Alright, pubic hairs off. And now we're done designing my vanilla ice weirdo character. Now, this is an important part, and depending on how you want to play your game, uh, this could be your critical moment. Now, throughout the game, there will be moments when you need tech, uh, when you will need cool, or you will need hacking skills, or something like that. So, each one of these actually comes in handy at certain points in the game. Uh, but if you're looking for, like, health, and like a natural defense, a body is the way to go. Intelligence is all about hacking. Uh, reflex is your guns and basically your perception in the game. Tech is for all those people out there who just want to build stuff. 
it comes in handy with breaking uh, through doors and stuff like that or stealing cars. But tech is basically, I want to craft a more powerful gun. Coolness is all about your stealth and bullshitting your way through any situation. If you're a bullshitter, you might want some cool points. But for me, it's body number six and tech. All the rest of them get a four. And there we go. That's my start off stats. Biometrics readings. There we go. Now, during the cutscenes, I'm usually quiet, so you can actually enjoy. Let me scoot you guys up a little bit. to try to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I've got a problem. Serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help? Ah, you know, I could count on you. It's, uh, Cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. He don't joke about that stuff. Got cocktails in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint, deserved a hero's welcome. I know I fuck up here. <laughs> you ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing. Doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk. Then you're gonna owe me one. You're saving my life, eh? Truly. Now, during this part of the game, you really haven't gotten... It's basically like the tutorial version. You haven't really gotten your skills or your guns or anything yet. That doesn't really kick off until after you meet your best buddy in the whole wide world. No spoilers. Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V, been a while? Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, you two shot a hand over the Yetis itself? Tell him I don't fight. Not yet. That was your problem. What's he owe you? Afraid that's flying confidentiality. Call it a lot. Leave it at that. A cred sharp with physics ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Cut him some slack, will you? You'll pay. I need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's. You gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No. You let him off because it's me asking. Huh. 
You know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. You know what, Kirk? I sometimes get the impression you forget you aren't from around here. Pop in Haywood for the occasional visit, sure. But you live far, far away in Pacifica. What are you getting at? Getting at? You probably need to think before you start something with a local son. Hmm. I'm open to other options. supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Tech used for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy B. Josh's gonna pad your wallet too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. We're waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck out there. We'll be in touch. Alright, now that's the asshole who just screwed me over. Like you didn't see that coming a mile away. Welcome to Night City. Don't worry, it gets better. Now, during the game, there will be lagging. It's unavoidable. Please don't worry. It only happens when I'm driving, mostly. Yes, Padre. Oh, it's the Godfather. <laughs> body in the trunk. Yeah, no place like home. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See, you got a good dog home. Welcome. How was it, Marquis? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you film me right now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. Oh shit, the Godfather's giving me a ride. He's gonna keep the cannolis, I just know it. So we're through. The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door. Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good. Things are I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. 
So, I'd like but didn't turn out like you expected. As you can see, I'm back. Been better there, wouldn't have left. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. That dude creeps me out. That's like Arnold Schwarzenegger if he was a chauffeur. Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To send Lock in. Once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty. So listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? One no, more Pat fucking word. Stay out of this! I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. You never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Mark the split. Pleased to see you have found a friend. You have me. So many of the little shits lurked around here. Despite your sword, you never got a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. You'll notice during the game, there are some times you can make decisions and take your time right doing it. Right here. I'll just drop down below. And there's a few that you have to make yeah, on the fly. Your number could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. Vaya con Dios. I kind of like the whole EL street look. Let me see if I can get y'all a clear picture of the street look. There you go. It looks like someone took a cross between the Karate Kid and a punk rocker. Which is probably what happened. Alright, let's get to business. Spoiler alert, we're about to meet our best buddy in the whole wide world. Eh, if you've seen videos about cyberpunk, you already know what's happening. But, for those of you who's new to it, you're about to meet your best buddy in the whole wide world. As soon as the damn elevator works. Okay. B? Status? On location. I have to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Uh -huh. oh. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, that is a Quattro Turbo. That is like the hero car slash best of the best in the cyberpunk world that is the cherry on top now there are some cool cars like that that are all flash and bling bling yeah you'll get a good view of the cars but that's my cherry right there 
Unfortunately, in this game, it cost 155,000 eddies just to get that in your garage. Kirk said. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Camera's blank. You got 20 minutes. Do your thing. Can anyone say police brutality? <laughs> <laughs> 